Mm -hmm. In Central African Republic, you have to build an operation from scratch. And this leads to much deeper involvement just to make people survive with the barest minimum. The violence is uh, really widespread in the country. Intercommunal violence, neighbors uh, shooting on neighbors and killing neighbors from different religious uh, origin or ethnic origin. And then there's also criminal violence, simple criminal violence. Today, 80 to 90 percent of people coming to the surgery theater in Bangui Hospital are conflict victims, shots, grenades, uh, machetes, uh, wounds from direct impact of conflict. We have three surgical teams uh, working around the clock and, uh, uh, and operating. Uh, we are supporting mobile medical clinics in the rural sites. We are also supporting other hospitals uh, in the country, either with medical still skills, nurses, and increasingly also with expertise on sexual violence, which comes with that conflict uh, uh, very prominently. I visited the I IDP camp. Uh, it's a desperate uh, situation, uh, one of those uh, huge displacement neighborhoods where uh, you, you see why people are, are desperate and hopeless and uh, why it is so important to act. In the past year, roughly seven to 800,000 people, which is basically 20 to 25 percent of the whole population has been displaced. And they are not going to go back anytime soon. To be sleep, sleep. Security presence, uh, highly important to have a minimum of stability to be able to work. On the humanitarian side, ICRC will, I hope, make the CAR operation one of the ten largest ones in, in ICRC. And it will be about beefing up our health, uh, food and water and sanitation work, as well as protection work in the Central African Republic. Mm -hmm.